My name is uh, John Delano. I'm a distinguished teaching professor in the Department of Atmospheric and Environmental Sciences. I've been at the University of Albany for about 26 years and uh, teach undergraduate and graduate courses in environmental science and geochemistry. And my research has been funded almost for the entire time by, by NASA. My affiliation with NASA is twofold. One, I do research uh, that's funded by NASA, and also I serve on advisory panels for NASA for missions and other proposals. Forty years ago this year, particularly July 20th, uh, 2009, is when human beings for the first time stepped on another object in our solar system. The United States of America decided to aim high and do something that no one had ever, ever tried before. And we did it on the first try. It was, it was really a holy mackerel moment. Ignition sequence start. Six. We were just silently riveted uh, to, to the television as we kept hearing the Alta astronaut Aldrin uh, reading out the altitude of the lunar module as it was moving toward the lunar surface and its speed. Zero, zero, seven, six, four. Zero, three, zero. By golly, we were, we were actually going to go there. My gosh, as, as you can imagine, we, we heard them land. We heard Neil Armstrong say, Tranquility Base here. The angle has landed. It still sends chills uh, down my spine, just remembering those words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And it happened during our generation. And it was done by Americans. It wasn't done by anybody else, and it wasn't done at any other time. This was the first time that human beings had left our Earth in over three million years worth of biological evolution and stepped foot elsewhere. It was an impressive achievement. Progress does not come cheap. Progress is not for the faint-hearted. Uh, we choose to be human. We choose to identify what it means to be human. We understand that there will be risk, but we also know that there are those among us who believe that risk is worth it. The moon has our footprints on it. Uh, we choose to do things that will contribute to our legacy, and I hope that others in the future will see that we are and were quite a nation.